Well, some people have been asking me about my snowmobiles. None of them are anything special, but I'll just tell you about them anyways. This is a 97 Polaris Indy Light. It was my first snowmobile. I bought it as soon as I made my new building. That was in uh, 2000, this, in the winter when I finished. So anyways, when I bought it, it was perfect. It's a 340, two-stroke, two-cylinder. And then uh, a couple years later, my son's friend was driving it. He was 12. And as you see on the front end, looks like a redneck patch job. Well, it is. That's OD washing machine. That's a Frigidaire washing machine front panel, all chopped up and painted green and put on with silicone and rivets. Stupid kid. Seemed to be driving it fine, except when he was way back there over yonder, right beside that tree, on top of that hill, we signaled him to come back, it's time to go home. So we're like waving our arms and he saw us, so he, he drives right towards us, just the way we're pointing, and smack dab into that tree. That's it. My sled was killed. Motor was shoved back. Tree was a foot deep into the front end, but it was actually still running even with a crushed exhaust system. Amazing. And the way the carburetor was all twisted sideways. So we got it back and stripped down the front end. I got a chain on it and pulled it all out. They wanted $450 for a hood, so I made that custom front end for it. And anyways, all these years later, now it's 2008, it's still driving on the original belt, second set of spark plugs and a new track and a couple other minor repairs but it's been one hell of a good machine. Well by the way I have a few sons. My oldest one is 20. I raised him as a single father. He lived with me and it was one of his friends who wrecked the machine. This son's name is Adam Rock. He's on YouTube too under username Straight Dozing. My other one I got two years ago with no motor in perfect condition for 500 bucks. It was supposed to be a 440 but with no motor I could make it anything I wanted. So same year I got that sled I was given this piece of crap. Owned by an old man since new, although he wasn't old when he bought it back in 1981. A 500 GPS motoski made by Bombardier or Skidoo. Well it had sat for about 15 years unused, rotten fuel lines, stale gas, clogged carburetors, but nothing technically wrong with it except it was beat to hell. So anyways, just changed all that stuff, got everything cleaned out, and she fired right up, and it was amazing. So, took it for a ride, couldn't believe how fast this sucker was. I guess back in 81, this was probably one of the fastest sleds. Well, it was actually scary fast being such a light, narrow sled and so tippy, so I got the idea. Why not take that fast motor out and put it in a modern sled? It actually bolted right in, wiring was completely different few other things different and the major problem was the exhaust it didn't fit whatsoever from neither sled so I had to make a custom expansion chamber and everything and now I've got no silencer on it and that's why it sounds so loud so then it had no back pressure so then I rejetted the carburetor and that gave it even more power so now it's this is a fun machine well I didn't want a dead sled sitting around so if you saw in one of my earlier videos called snowmobile or skidoo smash up derby well, the one that we smashed the hell out of with a car because I hated it because nobody would buy it with the rebuilt motor. New clutch, but it had a bad track. So I decided, well, let's destroy it, have some fun. And I put the 377 Skidoo uh, Citation motor in here. And ever since then, this piece of crap's been working fine. It's a good beginner sled for when we have visitors. So the only money I got invested in this thing is a new track. A bit of time. So if you're used to riding quads and motorcycles and whatever kind of off-road machine most people say that nothing's more fun than snowmobiling every time you come out and go snowmobiling it's a different adventure because the place has redrifted snow's different depth different type of density it's just a different ride every time it's just like bouncing off the waves as you're hitting those drifts there's nothing more fun off-road than snowmobiling gotta love it there's something even your old lady can drive and your kid can drive because they're automatic. And most of the times when you fall off, nothing happens. You're just in snow. You don't get any of those road rashes like you do on other machines.